praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you I say shalom. The real demons are you Jakes, you Israelites, all right, our people, okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all the real demons, all right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, who we get on, yeah, he's a demon, but he, that's how the Most High made him. That's what our people have to realize. The Lord made him to be the devil. He made him to be the wicked, okay? It, but our people, he didn't. the Lord didn't make us to be wicked. He didn't make us to be niggas and just be ignorant and belligerent and just, you know, you, you, you jakes out there that understand this truth, where you see how our people treat each other, you see how our women act, our people are not supposed to be like that. They, you niggas is the real demons, really the two-thirds of Israel. That's why the Lord has to destroy you, okay? Y'all the real demons. Esau's doing what they do, all right? They're the wicked, all right? They, they, yes, they're going to steal, lie, cheat, okay, kill. All right, poison your food. They're going to do all these things, all this witchcraft, all this deception. But that's what they do. That's what they're supposed to do. That's not a trait of an Israelite. All those, all that wickedness is not how we're supposed to do. But the ways of the wicked, as the scriptures say, seduced our people. All right, our people saw the heathens, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 living wickedly and living in sin. And our people took on the, 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 um, the ways of the heathen and did it more, did it even worse. All right, the scripture says our, 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 our wicked deeds outpass the ways of the heathen, okay? But there's a remnant of Israel, it's a remnant of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are going to turn from your wickedness and repent, all right, and come back to being Yasharala, being princes of the power, okay, and not following after the ways of the white man and the ways of this world, okay? But let me, um, damn, let me, um, let me start with this. I'll start with, um... Actually, I want to start with Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 7 and uh, verse 29. Last verse. It reads, Lo, this only have I found, that the Most High had made man upright. All right, meaning upright, meaning perfect. But they have sought out many inventions. Our people, man, they, they, they look for wickedness. They look for ways to be wicked. We're not supposed to be like that. We're not supposed to be trying to steal from our brother and... and, and and covet after what our neighbor has, and covet our neighbor's wife, and just doing all matter of wickedness. We're not, the Lord didn't make us like that. But the scripture says, we have sought out many inventions, many wicked inventions. Okay? Um, let me grab this. I want to grab this in 2 Ezra uh, 8 and uh, verse 27. It reads, Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, but desire, but the desire of those that keep like testimonies and afflictions, okay? Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, all right? Our people look to the heathen for a, a, a guide, counsel, okay? Now, they don't look to you, Yahweh, Yahweh, they look to the so-called white man, all right? They see the white man, they see these heathens, they see them prospering, all right, in their wickedness, and what do our people do? Our people do the same thing. They, they fall right after the, right after the wicked, okay? The, like I said, the Lord made the wicked to be the wicked, Okay, that, that that's that's his mo to be the wicked. All right, you got you always gonna have a good good guy and a bad guy. Esau's the bad guy. That's what you niggas don't want to realize. Like man, it, you know, it's it's some good in everybody. You know, it's good, it's good. Like, no, so called white man. All right, all right, the Edomites. All right, they're wicked, as the scripture says. I'll start at um Malachi one and three. Uh, shit, you know what? Let me start at two. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob? And Jacob is you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Israelites scattered throughout the four winds of the world that look like the heathen nations. The Lord loves us. The Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. He gave us a proper, the proper guidelines on how to live and conduct ourselves. 
Okay, the other heathen nations, Esau, they weren't given that. That's why they just they, they just behave and, and act like brute beasts. Okay, verse, verse 3, I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people whom the Lord have indignation forever. They're the wicked. Okay. That's what Jay got to realize that eat the most I created them to be the wicked. Okay. The, the point blank period is good and bad. Let me grab that Ecclesiastes 33. All right. And the Lord, you know, the Lord is about balance. Everything is, everything is about balance with the Lord. Okay. The Lord made the, made the heathen, made the wicked. You know, you got three, you have three classification of men. The sons of the Most High, which are you Israelites. The sons of men, which are the heathen nations. And the sons of the wicked, which are the Edomites. Okay, the Lord is, the Lord is, you know, the Lord, the Lord knew what he was doing when he, when he created man. All right, a false balance is, as Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is, is, the, is his delight. It was the Lord's delight to make Esau the wicked. Okay, this is uh, the book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes 33, and um, uh, I started at uh, shoot, where was I? Um, I started at 13. As as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liketh the best, okay? The, hey, the, the, the Lord is the one with the clay in his hand. The, the Lord is the potter with the clay, and he fashioned man to whom he liked, and he chose Israel, all right? He chose Yashrala. He chose Jacob, not Esau. Good is set against evil, all right? There's two and two, all right? You know, uh, one or the other. Life against death, so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. All right, everything is, well, it's going to say it's, so look upon all the works of the Most High, and they are all two and two, one against another. All right, so Esau is set up to do what he's going to do. Yes, we get on Esau. Yes, we call Esau out. Yes, we're we're trying to, we, we're revealing Esau to the world through the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh okay? Yes, we call this devil out, but that's who he is. So at the end of the day, we can't get mad at Esau for being the wicked, for being who he is. Okay, but we can, we get, we even get, you know, most Jakes, we get even madder at our people because the way they fucking act. All right, the, the, the you know, the so called black woman got to shake her ass any chance she get. All right, that this, you know, niggas got to, you know, just, just do nigga shit any, any chance they get. Okay, all the tribes. Okay, they just, just engulfed in wickedness, and we're not supposed to be like that. All right, let me, um, grab this Proverbs, uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, and verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth, seduceth them. All right, the ways of the wicked seduce two-thirds of our people that won't repent, that don't want to turn to the Lord, that don't want to come back to their heritage, to this truth, that don't want to call them the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. They, they've been seduced by the wicked, and, and, and you know, there ain't no coming back for them. That's why the Lord got to destroy two thirds of our people. All right. Because these niggas is wicked, man. You know, you see, man, just go to world star hip hop. You'll see the wickedness of our people. All right. They, they shoot and kill each other every fucking day. All right. For nothing. All right. For, for, for some bullshit. Okay. Uh, this is Jeremiah five and 26. It says for among my people are found wicked men. They lay, they lay wait as he that said snares. They set a trap, they catch men. And that's the trait of Esau. In, um, what is that? I believe it's Psalms 9. is a precept uh, um, directly saying that um, Esau weighs in, lays in the, uh, the, the, the marketplace like a, like a lion. But, you know, the prophet Jeremiah is prophesying against our people. Okay? Because they set, set traps and set snares. They've taken on the characteristics of the wicked. All right? Verse 27, as a cage is full of birds, so are his, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. 
They are waxing fat. They shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. Okay? The wicked deeds of our people overpass the actual wicked. All right? That's how wicked Jake has become. All right? He, you know, you, that's why I said that the title just says, you niggas, I should put it, you niggas are the real demons, man. All right? That's why the Lord has to come back and set things in a rightful order. And you Israelites, you 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 bugged out Jake, you two-thirds of Israel, all right? You're gonna come back in the kingdom in your right mind. Okay? You 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 you're gonna understand that the Lord set forth, you know, uh law, statutes, and commandments that separated us from the from the heathens, from the wicked. Okay? You're gonna understand the the, the balance, all right, Be between, you know, uh, uh um the light and darkness, good and evil. Righteousness, righteousness is unrighteousness. Okay, our people don't understand that right now. Our people are just, you know, gone in their folly. All right. Um, let me see. Um, uh, let me let me grab this. I wanted to grab. Um, oh, um, Proverbs sixteen. Almost forgot. Proverbs 16 and 4, going into the wicked again. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The Lord is just, he, he, he made Esau to destroy him. How, how crazy that sounds. That may sound crazy to a lot of you bugged out niggas out there, but that's, that's simple. The Lord can do what the F he wants, all right? The Lord made the wicked, okay, for the day of evil, all right, f f to destroy this devil. But, you know, he's, hey, this devil is the whooping stick of the Lord. All right. The Lord made this devil to put hell in you niggas. This is uh, Psalm 17 and um, 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay. And we all know who the sword is. Okay. The sword was Esau, Edom, so-called white man's blessing. That's how he's able to do. That's how he's able to perform all this wickedness. Okay, Genesis 27 and verse 37, I think. I think it's 37. 27 and uh, yeah, I started at uh, 39, 38. Um, yeah, 38. And Esau said unto his father, as thou but one blessing, my father bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shall thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou hast have dominion, thou shalt break his yoke off thy neck. All right? Point is, he hey, he's gonna live by the sword, all right. That's what that, that's how the wicked lives, all right. That's the wicked's default, all right. If all else fails, this devil got that sword, okay. But the the sword is not our blessing, all right. Our blessing is not to be carnal. Our blessing is not to be violent. Our blessing is to lean and depend and rely on Yahweh Bashi Shai, having faith, okay. You know, but Jake don't Jake don't Jake 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 don't. They, these niggas don't want to get right, man. That's why the Lord has to bring that ultimate destruction. They got to destroy our people, put them out their misery. All right, this is uh, the book of Zechariah, chapter 13 and verse 18. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Two parts of Israel, two thirds. All right, and I will bring the third part through the fire. The third part represents the elect. And I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name, and I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. Okay? So so that's, that's plain, because Jake don't want to get right. Okay, Jake want to continue to be, be, be niggas, man. You know, they want to continue to, you know, you know run behind a so-called white man. All right? They're going to they're gonna follow this devil right into that ditch. They're going to follow this devil right into a, a, a MOTB station. All right. Um, 
Well, I had Romans 9, you know, uh, kind of the back of the point of um, the scripture in Ecclesiastes. It's Romans 9, and uh, let me just get straight to the point. Um, Romans 9 and 20. Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou repliest, that repliest against the Most High? Shall the thing shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Has not the potter power over the clay? And the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. And Esau's that vessel. Oh, actually, I'm going to finish reading. What if the Most High willing to show his wrath to make his power known endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? All right, that's, that's, that's Esau. Okay, it's one vessel made unto honor, which was Jacob, and the other made unto dishonor. That's Esau. Okay, like I said before, the Most High is about uh, ultimate balance. Okay, you got the good and the bad. All right, e Esau, man, you, 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 we get mad. We, we see the, uh, 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 you know, the, the wickedness of Esau, and we get pissed off. But at the end of the day, Esau, that nigga's doing his job. Okay, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? The Lord is in ultimate control of Esau. He's making these devils roll on you. He's going to really make these devils roll on you, niggas. Because the, the Esau is the sword of the Lord, okay? But he's being controlled, and, and eventually, you know, the Most High is going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, down in the chariots, okay, to, to take this devil out of his power, all right? He was given that sword by uh, 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 by Isaac. <laughs> that was his blessing, but it has, it has to be taken away. He Esau served his purpose, okay? And, and, and that's it. He was supposed to be the wicked in the world. The wicked that the Bible speaks of, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and after he serves his purpose, he, he, he's out of there. After a thousand years of, of bondage, okay, he, he's going to be out of there. All right, so Jake, gotta, our people got to get open your eyes and realize, yeah, Esau is the devil, and we call him out on this bullshit, and we, 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 we expose this devil, but he's doing nothing but what he's been programmed to do. It's you Jake, you Israelites that got to get your shit together, all right, and, and, and repent and turn to the Lord. All right, before the Lord starts really sending judgment out there. And when when, when that judgment comes, it's going to be too late for a lot of niggas, man. It's going to be too late for a lot of jakes, okay? Because, you know, like I said, our people don't want to get right, man. It's, it, you know, Jake is always a, a dollar late, a, 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 um, what is it, um, a dollar short and a day late, man. All right, so um, I just want to make this real quick. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Havakapadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.